Hey, it's been quite a while. Last time we met was when you helped us with our runaway heavy machinery, right? It's been ages, Grace. How have you been these days? Isn't it tough working all those commissions? You have to take good care of yourself. No overtime, you hear me? Huh? Grace, when did you become so considerate? Oh, actually, every time I see you, I find it incredibly soothing. This might seem a bit out of the blue, but can I please have a hug? Maybe just a little one. Sorry, I can't help it. You can open your eyes, Belle. Grace is hugging Eos. Oh, this round little body, these dangly ears. Its hardware's been modified, right? It's mechanical inside, but so soft and fluffy at the same time. <laughs> it's a crime to be so cute. I love it so much. <sighs> so she was talking to Eos the whole time. No wonder she asked us to bring it. Still the same, always preferring machines to people. Huh? Oh, the other proxy is here too. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, Grace. No offense. Here's a tissue. We'd rather keep Eos's head saliva free. Let's talk about the details first. You'll get to pet it some more later. <laughs> Sorry about that. I let my work habits take over. As for the commission... Hey! Don't you run away, little one! <sighs> Happiness is always fleeting. <laughs> Forget it. Let's get back to the commission, then. So, that time we dealt with the runaway machinery I mentioned a bit ago? Thanks to Faithen, Bellabog eliminated the potential threat to the project. My sweet pe- Uh, our president also got to let go of some emotional baggage. So, it was a really positive outcome overall. But, if we instead turn our gaze to the company's balance sheet, we've actually suffered heavy losses. I see. Although Bell managed to get all three machines back, that monster showed up out of nowhere and absorbed them all. Yep. We, uh, ended up losing the three machines originally allocated to the project. And despite unexpectedly retrieving the prototype, we haven't been able to put it to practical use yet. So, to make up for the loss of those children, Bellabog Industries has agreed to cooperate with the industry leader Three Gates Corp on a small project. We'll provide some technical documents in exchange for some of their heavy machinery assets. And for this commission, we'll also need your support in awakening the prototype's logic core, which contains the data we want to exchange. Um, what about that call just now? Ah, that's someone from Three Gates saying that another company is also looking to partner up with them. They'll probably end up using the one offering higher technological value. <sighs> it's no big deal. Anyway, the ins and outs of this commission are all there. We'll go along with your preferred style of cooperation. We're counting on you, Faithen. You say that with a straight face, but you're already reaching out to pet Eos. Be careful. New ethereals keep appearing within the detection range. Grace, are you done troubleshooting? Emergency removal of control permissions is still in progress. Give me a bit more time. Warning. Ether activity rapidly accelerating. Speculation. A particularly large ethereal unit, or a large group of ethereals, is approaching. Master, have a guess. Now is not a good time to be joking, Fairy. Bell, can you convince Grace to get out of here? Detecting permission ownership, processing the switch, disabling cloud invocation, matching admin keys. Almost there, almost. Grace, watch out. Oh. That was the sound of a heavy cannon. Who's attacking? Warning. Unknown individuals approaching. Is 
this? A modded Guardian Mark II tactical mech? Oh, wow, you can uh, tell it's modded with just one look? Seems like you're not completely off your game, Grace Howard. The Ethereals won't stay subdued for long. Let's talk outside the hollow. Hollow evacuation successful. Are you all right? We're fine. Eos was the real star. Well, despite a few hiccups, the troubleshooting is all done. Ah, fiddling around with machines while surrounded by monsters. Good to see that your morbid determination has never changed. Oh, right. I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you so much for reaching out to help despite all that danger. Mmm, thanking people. Huh, that's a marked improvement. I've seen others similar to you, but you're truly one of a kind. Finally, a compliment from you? Eh, better late than ever, I guess. Hmm. The more I look at you, the more beautiful your curves are, and the sheer power you contain. Mm, wait up. Flattery is one thing, but I think you've gone a little too far. Ah, I think I know what's going to happen next. This may be weird, but... Can I please pet you? What the... Are, are you crazy? How could you ask something so rude? I mean, just a handshake would have been fine, but... I'm sorry, I just can't help it. Just hang on, let me get mentally prepared for that. Does this coating give additional insulation to the hull? Oh, and I bet the power supply inside has been upgraded too, right? I can hear it just humming with power, grunting. I love it! Oh. Uh, it appears our savior is paralyzed. If I'm not mistaken, she's also shivering? Her face looks so red. Belle, should we go comfort her? Oh, I thought you changed at least a little bit, but I was majorly wrong. You're still infatuated with machines and ignoring people around you. The frosty cold iron witch, Grace Howard. Hmm? You're this kid's mechanic? Pleased to meet you. Your child is really powerful. Ugh, shut up. We've known each other for ages. It's just you never took me seriously because of your twisted values. Huh? We know each other. But I can hardly remember seeing such a cool, modded guardian mech like this before. Could you help refresh my memory? I am talking about me! Let go of my work, you mecha addict! Don't you mean Iron Witch? Sorry, habits of the trade. Could you please tell me your name? Oh, or tell me about this kid's corpus data. Hm. As expected, you really don't remember me. That's fine. I'll just have to mercilessly beat you in a tech battle. Beat me in a tech battle? Oh, you're the second technological partner Three Gates mentioned, right? Yes, I, Betty Brenda, am your opponent. And I will beat you in this bid. It'll be a total humiliation for you and Bellabog. You two, you're quick. What about the little one? We didn't bring Eos because we're not heading into any hollows. We let it rest during these types of commissions. Uh, too bad. If I'd known, I'd have come up with an excuse to make you bring him along. Not even trying to hide your actual goal, are you? Good kid. Don't worry, these two aren't the bad guys. The logic core that was awakened last time. Have you tried booting it up? Any issues? Don't worry, it's only partially booted for now. After the last troubleshooting session, I've managed to fully filter out the data and divert control of basic functions away from the dangerous infected data. Now I just have to wipe any sensitive data left behind regarding the prototype, and it'll be ready for the delivery to Three Gates. Barry, can you help with clearing the sensitive data? Negative. All logic cores that pass the forbidden fruit test 
i.e., the core systems of AI-enabled machinery, are incompatible with my protocols. Forced intervention can have unforeseen consequences. Also, I prefer not to interact with ether-corrupted data. It's rare to see her retreat from a request like this. Fairy, why would you refuse to access data corrupted by ether? I've prepared 10 disgusting metaphors to explain it to you. Which would you like to hear first? Note, human tolerance is limited to about 10 on the disgust scale. What's the score of the least disgusting one? 11. How about we get back to the commission? This commission doesn't require your faith in disguise. You two alone can handle it. I'm going to debug this kid's cognitive command system. Only a few basic protocols are needed to set up a link between commands and its behavior. Put simply, I'll issue commands like go left, go right, touch this, touch that, and you'll need to follow my instructions in front of it so that it understands the connection between the commands and the actions. Once cognition is established, act out the commands from the kid to help solidify it. It's like teaching a toddler how to crawl or stand up. Got it? I'll run some system tests on this baby first. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Great job! Well done! The cognitive commands have been recorded with precision. My only regret is that my little cutie Eos couldn't make it here today. <sighs> the whole point of setting up this scheduled maintenance was an excuse to see that roly-poly kiddo running around. No wonder you've been bossing me around all day. All right, the controls have been sufficiently calibrated. Now I'll perform a full reboot to test the effects. A full reboot, huh? Hope it's not going to lose control again. No problem, I'm fully prepared. I've dismissed all the onlookers and kept the kids' fuel to a minimum. And Bellabog Industries has updated their health insurance recently. Uh, you have accident coverage, right? Why am I not feeling reassured? You seem fully prepared for things to go wrong. Don't worry, I'm a professional technician and I've got everything under control. Let's get started. Very well. The control system permissions are operational. Let's start the first cognitive command test. Go five meters forward. Command unfulfilled. Repeating command. Go five meters forward. That's strange. Why isn't it following my commands? Unless, unless it really is broken? Danger! Bell, get behind me! The battery in my control panel is dead. <sighs> <laughs> no wonder this kid's been so quiet. It wasn't ignoring my commands. It couldn't receive them. <laughs> False alarm. I propose that we ban Grace from ever touching Eos again. Agreed. And all the other bang boo at home. I need to get a backup power supply. Keep an eye on this kid for me, would you? Its cognition systems are still fragile, so don't provoke it. And don't let anyone get close to it, including yourselves. I have to get back to the store for a moment. Be careful, okay, Belle? Don't panic. The cognitive unit hasn't received any input commands for a while, so the machine's just running a system diagnostic. It's that other mechanic. Hmm? Have we met? How do you know me? Uh-oh. I accidentally slipped up. Ah, uh-huh. I see. So you're the Iron Witch's apprentice, aren't you? Which is why you're keeping guard here. Why is the system diagnostic showing such a strong likelihood of startup? Could it be... No, don't get too close. Trust me, I know what I'm doing here. Her machines usually have a soft reset button placed at the back. If 
I'm able to get there. I can... Oh, no need to be so paranoid, you scrap heap. I am here to save you. I knew it. There was a repeat air loop during the self-diagnostic. Onboard memory was getting sapped, so a soft reboot did the trick. <laughs> it's all because of her. Insisting on the stupid logic core is what has caused the problem. Did Grace do something wrong? Oh, how could the high and mighty Iron Witch ever do anything wrong? This is the innovation she contributed to the industry. Wow, Grace is amazing. Bellabog Industries must be proud to have her as their technician. Jeez, apprentices these days don't understand sarcasm. The Logic Core is a precious technological breakthrough that grants mechanical creations the ability to have independent consciousness, potentially even enlightening a machine enough to pass the forbidden fruit test and be truly endowed the soul of an individual. However, this kind of technology is not required for production tools like industrial machines. I admit that the efficiency and work capacity of Bellabog's heavy machinery are superb, but the cost of production and maintenance is going to be out of this world. Unfortunately, buyers on the market love pursuing these unnecessary and uncontrollable gold-plated features, so the industries followed suit and started researching personality tools. Let me ask you, if you want to make an axe that chops wood faster, will you equip it with jet thrusters, AI systems, and a voice that yells at you, Master, Master, every time you poke it? For real? It could call me Master? Would it please you if a plunger called you Master? Listen up, Apprentice. Tools are just tools. Their value lies in being easy to get, easy to use, and easy to replace. Use them while they're good, and chuck them out once they're broken. Personifying or putting them before humans is heresy. And that's exactly the type of person your teacher is. She's mastered new applications for personified operating systems, and in doing so, has grown contemptuous of humanity. She's just a weirdo obsessed with tools who gets things backwards. Okay. Huh? How is it moving again? Hang on, stop right now. I was being careless just now, not hustle. Ah! Abort startup. Huh, that was a close one, but luckily I caught it. You, didn't I say not to provoke this kid? Mm -hmm. Betty, what are you doing here? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, nothing. Just uh, here to inform you. Three Gates Corp. has officially recognized my company's application for tech cooperation. And, well, only one of us will be granted resource support on the evaluation day. Be forewarned, Grace. I see. Well, thanks so much for passing on the message. If there's nothing else, I'll keep tweaking my little problem child, okay? Oh, yeah. And as for you, thanks for your support today. I'll give you a call when I need a hand next time. You can head off now. Uh, see that? Something might have happened just now, but she clearly cared more about the machine than her own apprentice. That's the cold iron witch I know, but it's fine. I'll soon let her know to never take people lightly.
The lunch is on you. Good day, bro. Get going. Did you come? Relax. It's like a walk in the park. You're too slow, Iron Witch. Betty! I'm already warmed up. Introducing the new tactical mech, upgraded for CoreLogic OS, Witch Hunter Alpha. Come on, demonstrate your might to our guests. Commence offensive maneuvers at six o'clock and nine o'clock. Following orders. What? Is it AI enabled? Oh, what's wrong, Grace? Hard to believe the personality OS you were so proud of has been replicated by someone like me. A cheaper, more productive, and easier to deploy modular personality OS. The maintenance costs are half what you pay. There are none of the whole stability or personality disorder risks you fretted about. Didn't the market applaud your tech patents? They'd always say only someone who loves tech as much as Grace could achieve this. <laughs> the cold and withdrawn Iron Witch, a weirdo who treats machines like people. This black magic you've been researching for so long, cracked just like that by me. Ooh. Task complete. I suggest switching to auto defense mode. Is that okay, Master? Go ahead. Its intelligence system is crude, but I like its gumption. Approximately one millionth as professional as me. Enough, Fairy. Don't add fuel to the fire. Bell. <sighs> Grace, are you okay? That voice is so lovely. She gave in so easily, but somehow I'm not surprised at all. It responded to the voice command and executed the instructions without any redundant movements and the steering mechanism's brake nozzle is gorgeous. It only listed one default command when recommending actions and still so immature, I love it. <laughs> Enjoying it? Why are you admiring your rival's work? Mm, this kid looks really good. Grace, don't put your foot in your mouth. It's your rival's mech. Uh, yes, I don't like it yet. You claim to have replicated Bellabog Industries' patent, but I won't buy it just like that. I'll believe it when I see this kid show us a little more. Show it to me. Right here, right now. Best if you let me pick it apart myself so I can see better. This is getting weirder and weirder. Why would I let my rival disassemble my work? But, well, you do have a point. I'll have Witch Hunter Alpha accompany you to demonstrate the difference in technological achievements. I've uploaded the coordinates of Three Gates' meeting place to Witch Hunter Alpha's memory. Enjoy its company and appreciate its skills along the way. Really? Thanks, uh, but... This doesn't mean I concede. I'm starting to worry she might side with the enemy. This is the meeting point Betty mentioned. I didn't expect this kind of company. Prepare for combat. Let's go. Hey! Hmm. Hmm. 
Nothing happens when the Three Gates reps arrive. your rival how <laughs> I am just getting started warning units with high ether activity detected ahead they are likely strong enemies a direct confrontation is not suggested scanning for a suitable detour High-risk ethereal slot. Commencing annihilation. It just sped off. contains many unfinished buildings. The path forward is blocked. Strategy modification is required. Scanning for a suitable detour. Uh, is it trying to force its way through? Now that's surprising. Can everybody hear me? I've decided to give you a special demonstration of the long-range firepower of Witch Hunter Alpha. The personalized operating system I built is more precise than your version, Grace. You can command it effortlessly. Witch Hunter Alpha, destroy hostile units ahead. Open fire! Target locked. Awaiting orders. Catapult, guided missile launched. 
It missed. No. It's still... <laughs> so you could tell. Right? Now, correct. It can identify the best target to strike. Interesting. <sighs> We're here. Good timing. The Three Gates reps and public security will arrive shortly. How about it, Grace? Willing to admit defeat? <sighs> I'm willing to admit this kid is indeed a superior mech. With strong firepower, good mobility, and responsive controls. A weapon well suited for mass production. When I first encountered it a few days back, it didn't have the personality OS installed. I never expected our patent to be reverse engineered to such an extent in such little time. Mm, uh, I finally got to see the day that Grace admits defeat! Ho -ho! Not just yet. I have a question to ask you first. Ask away. It's not a question for you. It's for the kid. What? Witch Hunter Alpha, how high should the driver's seat be set? I have neither a cockpit nor a seat. Your question does not make any sense. What if you were to suggest a seat height? What would it be? Nothing over 140 centimeters. <sighs> Seat height? What kind of question is that? Betty, shut down Witch Hunter Alpha right now, or uninstall the personality OS. We need to take it out of the hollow ASAP. <laughs> what nonsense. I have no idea how you've gotten your hands on it, but I'm certain your personality OS is plagiarized from the data frame I've deployed in our prototype. Oh. Hey, no need for such ugly accusations. Resorting to this all because you can't admit failure? Just because you asked a useless question, you're now accusing me of plagiarism? 140 centimeters. That was Coleta's height back then. Huh? The former president of Bellabog Industries, Coleta's father and my mentor, Horse. When he finalized his prototype, he calibrated a specific seat height so that his daughter could pilot it from the get-go. That height was directly embedded into the logic core. <laughs> On the way here, I realized Witch Hunter Alpha's thinking patterns were similar to those of our kids. I was suspicious if you'd used the same data framework. The answer to this question has finally convinced me. Only our prototype, a Bellabog Industries mech, could know this by default. Because my sweepy gets mad if the seat is set too high. How d You and your venomous slander! That's just a coincidence! You know deep in your heart it's not. Listen to me, buddy. The logic core data from the prototype hasn't had comprehensive troubleshooting yet. There's still lots of corrupted data that needs stripping away. Using a copied framework means it's also contaminated with corrupted data. And we've already been inside the hollow for over two hours. This kid is at risk of losing control at any second. Why would... No way. You're lying. I won't be tricked. Really? Still not giving up? Fine. Here's another task for Witch Hunter Alpha, then. Translate this. Red, green, red, red, green. R red, green? Now what are you up to? Box, bucket. Box, box, bucket. Huh? How, how are you speaking in unison? Because this is the cognitive command code I installed when I debugged my kid. Wake up, Betty. Turn off Witch Hunter Alpha right now. You can tell it's plagiarized because she copied all the errors over, too. Warning. Hostile behavior detected. Initiating self-defense mode. <laughs> I know you're just bluffing. Go, Witch Hunter Alpha. Get rid of this trickster witch! Oh, huh? Betty, watch out! <laughs> Hostile targets locked. Commence in pursuit.
Proxy, let's go after it! Witch Hunter Alpha, stop! It's lost control. After it! A, a little hiccup. That child is your heart and soul, right? Hurry up! for the guidance module. You're just a machine. You dare defy me? This is your what? It dodged it? What's under Alpha? Enough now. Do as I say. Warning, increase in engine output detected. Very well then, 
You forced my hand. Now, set the explosives along its current trajectory. Go down! It's still moving! Why? Why? Warning! Fire control system and onboard weapons have been damaged. Entering attack mode. The target's hull has been damaged. Aether activity is steadily increasing. That's no good. We're not doing enough damage to stop it. Oh my gosh, how could this happen? Betty, what now? Any contingency strategies? You're asking me? Of course I'm asking you! You're that child's mechanic! Uh, you know it inside and out! Think about how to solve this problem! The logic core is already corrupted! I... I can't command it! Pull yourself together! Now's not the time to be pessimistic! Careful! That mech's attacks are growing in intensity! Are there any software vulnerabilities we can exploit? Any hardware damage? Contingency protocols? Module defects? Think! Quick! Run! What's that? Run! Just run! I, I admit it. I plagiarized your data framework. I just built a simulation layer over the top of the base structure. I, I don't know how to deal with this situation. Let's run! Our weapons aren't enough to deal with it, and it will only get more dangerous as it corrupts! So, what about your mission, then? What about the Three Gates reps? I'll, I'll explain things to them and let this crazy piece of metal fend for itself. And we can still call up the HIA to come take care of it. What kind of joke is that? Ugh! I'm shaken to my core. Hope nobody noticed. Why can't we run away? Anyone with common sense would do the same. We're facing an experimental weapon that's out of control, and our only control tool is broken. That's it. Let's leave things up to public security or the HIA. It's totally reasonable. I know what you're thinking. You just won't give up on that mech. You want to save it like it's a person, but this obsession with machinery is fanaticism. Why are you making me stay with you? Enough with all your nonsense. Leaving problems behind for someone else to handle. You're just shirking your obligations. You're that child's mechanic. It's your responsibility to deal with it. Run away? Have you thought about how many other people would be risking their lives because you neglected your duty? I... I, I don't know what to do! <sighs> Hand over the control panel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Take back control. Take back control of the logic core while it's being corrupted by ether? How? You said that you only built an emulated control layer, right? If the central control system and mech command are carried through the emulated control layer instead of direct authorization from the logic core, then there's still a chance. But that'll be almost impossible unless some magic happens. Frosty Cold Iron Witch. Uh, huh? Isn't that the name you've been mocking me with? If you need some magic, don't you need a witch on your side? Huh? <laughs>
Every effort counts! G44. Ceasefire control radar module. Change power distribution to manual. Restart energy pump. Ah, too slow! Ugh, its logic core is out of control. We won't make it! Is the soft reboot button in the middle of its frame? Yeah. Wait, you want to try a manual reboot? Are you out of your mind? Uh, isolate and disable weapons. I... it's done. Huh? What a good kid. Welcome back.
Yikes! I never expected those PubSec agents to come so fast. I didn't get a chance to appreciate that kid's insulation coat as much as I would have liked. What a texture. Despite all the battle damage. You worked some real magic. You really are a witch. Looks like Grace isn't a machine maniac with the screw loose. Her wealth of professional expertise just shows in unconventional ways. Hey, that was rude. Do you think it's easy being a corporate technician like me? Especially considering how young I am. As an apology, I'll let you give me this cute little thing to pet. I mean, research for a few days. Here's your reward. Go on, Eos. She won't hurt you. <laughs> Betty. <sighs> Betty Brenda. If you want to laugh at me, be my guest. I've got nothing to say. Great job constructing that emulated control layer. Huh? The voice print conversion command was so good I almost got fooled. <sighs> <sighs> Even though the incomplete data framework caused lots of operational errors and low efficiency, there's still lots of room for improvement. If you're interested in personality OS research, I can give you some sample data from our prototype. Of course, you'll have to wait until your suspension is over and you've regained your mechanics license. <sighs> I lost completely thoroughly. <sighs> Good luck with your technical collaboration, Grace Howard. What a gentle witch. Proxy, have you heard of horsepower as a unit of measurement? It indicates how many horses would be required for an equivalent output of force. Industrial machinery usually has a horsepower of several hundred or several thousand. Don't you think this is a real boon for horses? Because these machines end up saving hundreds of them from the pain of manual labor. People are just the same. An industrial machine can save dozens of engineer teams from hollow-related danger, and a tactical mech can save several combat squads from having to face ethereals. And me? Actually, I can't say that I simply love machinery. All I'm infatuated with is the prospect of saving humans from getting ruined inside the hollows, and sparing their families all the suffering and grief. I may have destroyed many times the machines that my peers, indirectly or otherwise, have. So that's really why I'm a witch, you know? Even if it makes me cry out in sorrow, I still have to send these kids out there to face fatal threats. But if there were more witches like me in New Eridu's future, just a few more people willing to care for these machines and shed tears for their sacrifices, well, Maybe these kids would be more willing to forgive us for what we expect of them.